Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and today I'm going to be showing you how I made the cutest kawaii bow tie. Now for this, I'm actually using one of those hourglass shaker molds. You've probably seen them all over the internet. Um, but I decided that I was going to turn it up on its side and uh, wear it because you know me, I'm just extra. So first and foremost, I'm mixing together a very sort of like translucent pink and a translucent green, or well, more like a sort of teal color actually. Um, and I'm popping in lots of glitter because as you know, I bleed glitter, glitter runs through my veins. It is what it is. I am a glitter obsessive and I know quite Quite a few of you are as well so um hopefully you'd be happy with how sparkly that this turns out by the way in case you're wondering i sound this nasal because i have yet another cold but what happens whenever i'm ill i just craft 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 so i've got plenty of videos coming up for you guys trust me i love seeing these two colors together because of course they remind me of pushy and I know, I know that I just got myself some new stickers, so I should be using different characters by now, but you know, it is what it is. This was actually done before I got my new stickers, so that's my excuse. <laughs> Just let me off, all right? So anyway, um, after I poured in the resin, as you could see, I was uh, flash curing it there. And then I put it into my uh, into my bigger light for a few minutes. And now I'm just doing the lid. So I'm literally just doing clear resin in this part. And then I'm just going to cure it for a few minutes. Now comes everyone's favorite part, the demolding process. What I really like about this mold is how easy it was to actually get this piece out. Look how gorgeous and shiny that that is though. Oh my goodness, there's Pusheen. So basically the theme for this one is Pusheen wants to eat more donuts, but she can't because she can't fit through the little gap in the middle. <laughs> So now it's time to pop everything inside. I do tend to resin the backs of my puffy stickers just because I like to give them a little bit more weight and also just to sort of stop them from sticking to the surface. Um, so I've popped them in there and I've also put in some really, really teeny, tiny little like cupcakes and little candy swirls and stuff like that. I've also put in some sprinkles. There's some little pearls in there as well. A lot of things that like you probably wouldn't even really notice, but I know that they're there. So that's all that matters. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna put a link in the description uh, to all of the different things that I've used in this video. So you can go ahead and check it out afterwards. Another thing that I do to make sure that my pieces don't stick down is I just drizzle in a little bit of baby oil and then I'm putting on some UV resin all around the perimeter and then I'm going to pop the lid on, seal it in and then I'll add more oil in afterwards. The sealing in of the lid, it may be a little bit awkward to begin with but it does get easier the more that you practice and trust me I've been doing a lot of practicing. Time now to add some more UV resin all around the perimeter again. This time just making sure that I haven't got any like little like air holes in there. And I'm also doming the back as well, again, to make sure I haven't got any little air holes inside because what you don't want is to fill up your shaker and then to have it all dripping out of the bottom or of the back or of the side. Trust and believe this has happened to me so many times. Next, all you have to do is just pop in the little extra piece there just to seal it all off. And then I decided to put in some lovely lilac ribbon on the back. Again, I'm just sealing this all in with a touch of UV resin. Popped a little bow on there. No one else is going to see it, but I know it's there. So that's all that matters. <laughs> and then, of course, I'm just doming the front of it because everything looks better when it's extra, extra shiny. So there you have it, I am done. What do you guys think? I hope that you really like it as much as I do. I think if I was to do it again, I'd probably have Pusheen staying in one place along with the donuts as well. And I'd just have the little sprinkles moving around, but I do still love the way that this one here turned out. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a big fat thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. 
subscribe so that you don't miss the next video thank you so much for watching take care and i'll see you all soon bye